Okay, so here are my cables stripped back. That's as far as I like to do it, three or four fingers. So I'm just going to start on the other end. I'm going to do one full connection and then I'm going to do a, a, a test to show you on how to do it. So first thing I like to use these side cutters. I find out where that plastic is and then I nibble, 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 as you can see. Making sure that I'm not cutting any of those strands. When I've got about an inch and a half, I pull it back. And from this point you can just pull it with your fingers okay then I've got that much then on what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean it up remember this is solid core so it does not like to be bent and flexed if you bend it on a sharp corner or a sharp edge uh, the cable you will break the inner code in a, in a core so it's not going to be good so I've just cut away the blue shielding the plastic in the middle and now that piece of uh, string that's in there as well and now I'm going to going to unwind them there is a wiring diagram for this it's not really uh, acceptable just to go red with red red blue with blue and all that sort of stuff you do need to follow the diagram because of the way that the the cable is made so there's multiple different wiring diagrams some have a crossover inside of them some are just a straight through cable for what we're doing today we're just doing a straight through cable so i'm just going to pull that like that so what i'm doing is I'm, I'm twisting the pairs and i'm just putting pressure and just pulling it to straighten it not too hard just very lightly okay now I'll straighten all my pairs they're all still connected I can feel none of them are saggy if they've gone limp you need to cut and terminate and do it again all right so my first pair is going to be orange and white and then orange and then I've got green and white so I'm going to start to straighten them all together as best I can okay and then we've got a solid blue so I'm bringing that in after solid blue, I've got blue and white. So now I'm bringing that in. After blue and white, I've got green. So now I'm bringing that in. So beneath my fingers right here is where I've got it 100% um, correct. And I'm holding that nice and tight. Then I've got brown and white and then brown. So from this point right here, I'm good. So I'm just going to twist, twist, twist. I'm basically just straight, straightening them as much as I can with my fingers. I find it works easier like this. So I've got the ribbon all nicely done there. I've got a bit too much cable, which is fine. I'm going to make sure they're all in the right spot. And I'm just going to cut them in a little V. Okay, then I get my RJ45 terminal. I make sure I've got these as tight as possible. They're all in the correct order. None of them are jumping anywhere. And I put a clip down and making sure that they don't jump out. We're going to get this one first time. Nope, we're not. They're separating. Okay, clip down. Okay, I think we're good there. Okay, now I've just uh, pushed them all in, in a line, and pushed them in. Now I'm going to double check my pattern, orange, yes, 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 uh, green and white, blue, blue and white, solid green, brown and white, brown. Okay, now I'm just going to pull this all the way through. Okay, now I need to actually crimp it. pushing it through so I've got it the shielding pushed into the into the RJ45 now I'm going to go for the squeeze now I'll go for the squeeze now I can trim off all these bits I'm just using little nibblers they work pretty well for me if it's too long you're not going to get that click when you go to plug it in to test it okay that part of it's done now what I've got to do is I've got to plug in this one here terminate the other side and check it mm -hmm. 
Okay, last most important thing is to test it. So I've got my tester here. It tells me if it's all connected. At the moment they're all red. So I'll put my clip on and I should hear a little click. Yep, I do. And I can see 1 to 8 is all connected. So that means this wire is now good. So yeah, if you told me 30 years ago that I'd be connecting up these type of cat cables and that's what uh, was part of the job, I would have, you know, thought, no, that's probably not true, that's not locksmithing. But unfortunately it is, and it just means because of this computer age, uh, these cables are everywhere, they're used for everything. You could be extending a USB port from a computer, you could be extending a screen on VGA, you could be uh, extending a HDMI port using two or three of them. Uh, there's so many reasons and purposes for this particular cable that it's just an absolute necessary thing to have in your toolbox and to be able to be able to do it so what you've just shown you there is how i do it you can do it your own way hopefully some of the tricks that i've shown you help you out um, one of the things i learned that made it easier was to strip back with enough be very careful of your cable be very careful of the cable on the floor don't walk over it don't trip it uh, you really have to look after this cable it is a solid strand which means that if you were to bend it like that you'd have a break in your cable so you have to treat it really with kit kit and gloves um and it and terminate it properly and then you get a good cable these cables can run uh, they can run a long way so when you're talking 20 30 50 meters for different applications you can do that with these type of cables as long as they're configured properly the configuration i'm using was uh orange sorry white orange orange white green blue white blue green solid green white brown and brown and that seems to work pretty good for me there are better connections too where you can actually use like a punch down tool um, i don't have my punch down tool with me um, you can use them to join and you can use them to terminate on particular things i think they're called crone punch down tools where it pushes down and it cuts it at the other end that's an option there are better connectors as well you can pay like four or five dollars for and you can kind of feed the wires in a little bit better i find these cheap effective and easy enough to use. So leave your comments down below. Thanks for watching.